we wound up in prison for 28 years trying to prove to the courts that we weren't the guys. Think about the board of pardons. They're going to make that determination based on who you are. Are you ready to come back in society? Would you be a threat? Should you be given that second chance? Everybody's not going to be given that second chance. And some people ought not to be given that second chance. A lot of people really struggle with getting back on their feet with criminal records. These records haunt them. We don't want to make it harder for people to find employment, to find housing. Um, you know, if we want to lower recidivism rates, these are the kinds of reforms that we need to be looking at. The fact that Pennsylvania saw these men as disposable and throwaway, like, I don't know how we could ever get to that point. We fought every single day, every single week. We never gave up, you know, all the way up until the current day, we still fight. The pages of yesterday shackle my tomorrows, minutes bleeding in between sorrows. All of what I was meant to be was stolen. Pieces of a dream disappearing into the shadows. Horton Brothers had no previous criminal history. You had a statement from the principal in the case who, while he didn't outright say they weren't there, he didn't say that they were. In any situation, I would trust both of them with my life. When they started going to the facility, they started to see a decrease in people needing to go into restrictive housing. Anytime that it was needed for them to go and talk to somebody, um, sit with somebody, uh, cry with somebody. We're starting to see them talk people out of suicide. I believe that they have the ability to reach so many others that I'm not able to help. Could you gentlemen describe their misconduct history in prison? Zero. 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 Zero misconducts in well over 50 years of collective incarceration. Zero misconducts. The file indicates that they have a score of zero when it comes to the reoffending uh, assessment. In my time as Lieutenant Governor and Board Chair, I have actually never seen a, a score of a zero. It's unheard of. Correct. They just don't belong in prison. They've lived their lives like innocent, nonviolent men, helping others at all times, even before themselves, they, they help others. Um, you just don't find that in, in prisons. Anything can happen here, and we've seen, especially in the 11th hour, The bumblebee bears witness to what the mockingbird can never forget. Miss Grayson? Yes. Mr. Gubernick? Yes. Shaky souls pull triggers slaying axioms of history. General Shapiro? Yes. Governor? I am also a yes. Duly noted, application recommended. They voted for my brother and everybody jumped up and down and started screaming and hollering and I was screaming and hollering at first and then I said, hold it. They didn't vote for me yet, so they didn't, everybody calmed down and sat back and say, oh yeah, that's right. I will now call for a vote. Miss Grayson? Yes. Mr. Gubernick? Yes. General Shapiro? 
I'm a yes, and I, I think the lieutenant governor is a yes as well, so I'll vote for him if that's okay. Duly noted, governor with the attorney general as your proxy. Yes. Application yes. recommended. My legs got wobbly, and you know, it, it felt like a building was taken off my shoulders. I was elated. Only until uh, Lieutenant Governor Fetterman started voicing his opinion about believing in us, more people started paying attention. That made the difference. Man, man, how you doing? Oh, hey, <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> Look to me, at every, the trees. Everything oh. is bright. I'm just happy to see you guys here. Right, right. So yes. instead of behind the walls. That's the main thing. I think we'll be helping to train people to help people. The Fetterman campaign reached out to us and asked would we like to come on board and to organize support for his um, Senate bid. It's going to be a part-time position. They're not innocent. They simply have had their sentences commuted. They will be under parole supervision, at least as of uh, right now, for the remainder of their life. Until which time, uh, if they decide to put in to commute their parole or to put in for a pardon to relieve themselves of the conviction altogether. At the Sentencing Project, we advocate for ending life imprisonment completely and limiting prison terms to 20 years. The Horton brothers short, shortly are going to be able to hug their relatives and their family and their father. That means everything. Every time I come out the halfway house, I spend my time with her. I'm standing right with him from the moment he got out of prison. Our future is going to be bright. Let the dreamers keep their eyes on the prize while the gorillas grab full clips. Freedom is not free, it's the price of. Want to see reform of, you know, of life without parole. You know, we should never throw anybody in prison and say that they can't change, that they shouldn't be given a second chance. That's not who we are. At least that's not who we're supposed to be as Americans. We've been striving all our life to make an impact on society and to some degree to prove the system wrong, to prove that you got it wrong. Look at us. We're not the guys who you said we were. We are two men who found our purpose in life.